Hello everybody, welcome to an Airbnb cast. Uh, weren't going to do this live, but Jam Toast is in chat and said he's about to start, so I thought let's just do this one live, because it means I've got to play less Blood Bowl. <laughs> Not always a good thing. So Jam Toast has a wizard and two bribes. Oh wow, it's an, it's not from the stadium either. He's just got two full bribes and a wizard. Um, so he's done a lot of TV. He's got 13 players versus 13 for Ironcock. And uh, yeah, he's look, he's got a jump up tackle bomber. That 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 is an absolute difference maker there. Rookie White sucks. Uh, rookie Mummy sucks. This one's pretty decent, isn't it? Block guard, stand firm, break tackle, pretty nice. Strength four block ghoul, pretty nice. A fully decked out carrier ghoul. Move up, blodge step ghoul, pretty nice. And another tackle, so he's got two tackles. Not terrible having two tackles, right? And obviously the jump up means he can pile on and then blitz somewhere else. Like if you've only got one tackle pommer versus else, it's a bit shit because you you know if you blitz, then you've got not blitzing with him next turn, but obviously with jump up. Very, very good weapon to have. And then it looks like Hancock is doing a DACA here, but he's not really protecting against the Blitz. He's just made a pretty pattern. <laughs> Which who can say if that's good or bad. Get the ref, an extra bribe each. So now three bribes for Jam Toast, but he's got to knock people down to use them. And... Uh, you know, it looks like Hancock's going to dacker here. I've got a, move, a strength up catcher, very nice. An edge up blitzer, very nice. No movement ups. But of course he's got high L, so he's got three movement A catchers. Four movement A catchers. So they're pretty fast anyway. And blodge. Linos. Two guard. It's a pretty nice team, isn't it? Probably nicer than my team now. Not as nice as my team used to be <laughs> when I had a witch elf. <laughs> But you know, yeah, yeah. Blood Bowl analyst, exactly, Dwyer. Exactly, it's much better to be an analyst than a player. Like that's true in real sports, isn't it? Honestly, if you're re-rolling this, which he is, I think he should have made the dodge off first, right? Because he doesn't need the ball in hand this turn. What he needed was this guy not pommed and, and gang fouled. So a slight ordering error from Cock there. Should have tried that dodge. Then he could have just saved a reroll here and left the ball on the ground. Now how will Jam Toast attack the Dacker? It's pretty tough with with Undead uh, dealing with the Dacker. Pretty tough. <laughs> well, look, I'm not hard to miss. I'm not going to say it was the worst thing I've ever seen. And he, <laughs> he should never play Blood Bowl again. He's terrible. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was a slight ordering thing, wasn't it? Could have saved him a reroll. And, you know, probably should have put the mummies on the line, right? John Toast here, because uh could have anticipated the Dakar. Sitting on halfway isn't terrible, right? Because mummies are so slow. They're so slow. It's like they're playing in Rebel, the mummies. You do want to kind of hold the sides with the mummies, but then the problem is, you know, this is your best defensive player, right? And he just gets to be completely invalidated. Everybody could learn a lot by watching some Dimmy games. They could see how to go 11-3-1 with Imperial Nobility on Fumble. That's, that's crazy to me. I will never not be crazy. 11-3-1 with knobs. Whew. Honestly, if, if in 15 games you can go with 11-3-1 with Imperial Nobility, you should be able to go 16-0-0 with any other team. Incredible. Dimmy the absolute champ. Ha! 
<laughs> yeah, obviously Dimmy is he's just a knob savant. <laughs> <laughs> The ultimate knob is Dimmy. Uber knob. <laughs> ha. As you gonna pass it to this fella. No, he throws it at the catcher. Outrageous. And use the catch on the catch. These passes are a bit pointless, right? He should have been passing on this guy, yeah. Get him at 51, but I guess he wants to score on him. So even more reason to do the pass on him, right? Right? Then he'd be on 48. And then touchdown away. Like getting this guy at 17 doesn't really do anything. Maybe he's thinking he can get to 31 before the finals, but this guy, 49, right? This guy wants to do two passes, and this guy wants to pass no touchdown. The, honestly, the auto move, it's, you forget how fucking annoying the auto move is on Blood Bowl 2. It's really great not having it on Blood Bowl 3. So, sorry dog to the dog. Not every, not everything about Blood Bowl 2 Superior. Oh, this is uh, terrible. Terrible from Jam Toast. He can't like he's got to, he's got to get a better shape than this over the coming turns. This is rough, 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 rough. It's tricky, right? Because you don't want to just abandon. You like you know he could have moved the mummies further forward, right? They started one started here, didn't he? One, two, three. One. So he's only gone two, and the other one's gone one. So he could have. You could have had the mummies a bit further forward and then everything else could have been up here and then next turn a bit further forward and eventually creep the mummies up. But, um... Yeah. Cock club. What will happen? Well, that's not what I would have done. Cock turning this into a half dacker, re rolling. Oh, I hate this play from Cock. I guess he just wanted to hit the ball carrier. Yeah, to be fair. So, obviously, what Hancock's thinking is Hancock has some kind of like strip ball player, presumably, and thinks if he takes out the show hands, that will help him. He does have a strip baller here. So, he's thinking if he takes out the ghoul on defense, he'll be out on offense. But um, I wouldn't have been quite so, you know, quite so quick to do that without mighty blow up panning on or anything. It just seems a bit try to get lucky. Push is pretty bad for you as you get stuck on it. You get somebody pom now. There's an awful lot of reasons to not do what he just did. Um, but you know, you went for it. Exactly, yeah, that, like, I don't, I didn't like any part of it, really. He, now, if Jam Toast follows Hancock's line of thinking, he could, uh, GFI to blitz the strip baller, right? Oh, he's fireballing! Can he score? He can score! He's got a movement eight here, he can score! Oh my god, he's knocked over everybody! <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! So this guy assists, this guy blitzes, this guy scores. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GFI. Oh baby! That is that was quite the nuke. Yeah, same thing happened to me when I tried to dack her against a whiz. It's not it's not very good, honestly. <laughs> like if you if you do it like this, like you know you've got to layer it right against a wizard. Does nothing. You do nothing. Yeah, so what he needed against the wizard, right? He needed this guy and then people there and then people there. It's just did one nil up, thank you very much. Nice Dakar, mate, where'd you get it? The shit Dakar shop. <laughs> I like just scoring. Because you can't like 
you can't protect it and stuff within the elves, right? So just go one hill up on his drive. Yeah, it was it's gone, but it's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty good use of the wizard. But maybe you tricked him by not moving forward, Pedro. That's the thing, right? Maybe him hanging back is what tricked, like, you know, that, that he tempted him with that blitz, right? He tempted that blitz, which then made Hancock split his team, so he had thin coverage for the fireball. And then, because he was over here as well, if he'd gone further forward, like to here, say, then maybe Hancock spreads out again in defense against the fireball. So, you know. Ah, game paused by Hancock. Is he having a little cry as he jam toast? <laughs> Why didn't the tackle work? <laughs> Just a joke, of course. Just a joke. Hancock has a has a small child, so he's probably looking after that and stuff. <laughs> Just a joke. I'm sure Hancock doesn't really care at all. He's having a poop. He, he might be farting and burping at the same time. There is a really great uh, clip of Hancock if you search for it. Where he goes, ooh, brilliant record, that in it. And <laughs> goes, <laughs> at the same time, amazing. Na Nick Stacker does not work every time, Sata. Um, it did not work versus me in, uh, in, what's it called? Uh, SFL one time. It worked the second time, the second game, but the first game it didn't work. The second game, you made something like sixty dodges and passed and passed fifty-eight of them. <laughs> but I made a mistake on offense, so lost. Glorious, Steve. <laughs> uh, there was pretty good odds of it being okay, right? It's pretty good odds of it being okay. Um, it can, like obviously the ball was the biggest one. The ball was the biggest one. But any of the people in front, then you blitz another one in front, right? Like, obviously them all going down was incredible. But you know, you're a pretty big underdog here, right? It's Jam Toast, he, he's, he, he paid for two bribes. So he's 350 TV down, you know, big underdog, go for a, go for a big play, guys. If this was Blood Bowl three, you could have had Ivan the Ivan the Ivan the whatever he is Ivan Bigger. I can't remember what he's called. Um, he's one ninety now, isn't he? Which is completely fucking insane. Just quietly, Ivan Death Shroud. That's it, isn't it? Ivan the Animal Death Shroud. I remember his name. Um, he's incredible. So you could have had him in Blood Bowl three, but without him. You don't really get good stars, do you? Like, you, you don't get Cheney for Undead, do you? So, like, what do you get? Not a lot. Not a lot. Oh, so could have had a... I mean, could have had a ghoul. Could have had, like, a loner ghoul, right? A loner ghoul with block. And a babe. That wouldn't have been the worst thing ever. Or wrestle, maybe. But not a lot. If you haven't, I mean, some people like the two bribes thing, you know. And obviously, if you receive and you get to like gang foul and gang foul and gang foul, there's a there's a they're paused at the boomer. They're paused. Hancock is paused. <laughs> oh, I mean, definitely, definitely the undead. The undead are the easier game to win. No, no offense to Jam Toast to Hancock. Purely on teams, the uh, the undead are the easier game to win. Of course, you'd rather, if you knew you were going to win the game, you'd rather face Hancock because he's less likely to kill your team on the way out. Obviously, this jump up tackle bomber. Uh, all right, you're back. Okay. Do I have to start again? Has the replay broken? Nope, we're back. Okay. Bye bye, jam toast. Yeah. No, I mean the whiz is obviously undisputably a good idea. Two two bribes is a lot for me, but you know, knowing that you've got to get lucky. The problem is the dacker, right? The, the two bribes is a bit shit against a dacker. So maybe like two babes, and a and one bribe maybe. 
Who knows? But yeah, I mean, Hancock seems definitely the favourite here. Here. But, um, you know, things can happen, right? Like like that turnover. So now, if, assuming Hancock does get his turn 8 score, um, if Jam Toast gets his score done and doesn't concede the one turn, he wins, doesn't he? So it's it's set up somewhat well for Jam Toast. And it could go over time, yeah? Could go over time. Nobody dead yet for cock. So maybe he'll get use out of these three bribes. But it's just hard positionally to make fouls worthwhile as well, right? That's the problem. Even if you've got the bribes. It's like you don't want to use a bribe on a rubbish foul, right? Which means you still don't want to make rubbish fouls. I mean, with three, with the get the ref as the third one, maybe he will just foul every turn even with no assists. Or minimal assists. Cheeky kick. Doesn't go very deep, unfortunately. Or maybe he wanted it to not go deep. Are you gonna kick? If you're gonna with kick, and maybe it's offset LOS, right? Something. I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. And now he's put mummies on the line after after the first half. He was like, well, shit. I really hate having this guy out wide, right? I would have gone up for a spine. A spine like this so that you don't get them just running around and hitting you because they're elves. That's exactly what they're doing. Hello, Dimmy. It is cock. Hey, 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 hey. He's just blocked his path. He's not blitzing the ghoul. He's not blitzing the ghoul. Get out of town, cock. I thought that was the whole play with it. Why he was pushing forward so far this turn was because he was going to hit the ghoul. I mean, it's a pretty shit play to not knock over, right? Because he, he sidesteps and he's got tackle. And you're exposing yourself then to the tackle pommer. So it makes sense not blitzing, but... It was the how vigorous the push was. That was the thing that got me. How vigorous the push made me think uh, he was going to. Hold or. Dimrath. Do you want to join us in comms, Dimmy? Or are you are you back to work or or what? I just don't want to. That's fine too. You work. You, no problem. Hmm. Well, a very vigorous push, isn't it? A very vigorous push. Diced Harbour. Diced. Interesting that he's leaving the back so exposed. I guess because he wants him to go at the back. And then he can scoot forward and stall out. So maybe Jam Toast still wants to try and get in front. I mean, this is hard, right? This is the whole team is here now. A very vigorous push. So he could palm the guard, or he could palm this guy. Like, this guy is the most annoying, right? You could three dice him, I guess, but you can blitz him into more hits. And a big old gang foul. Cock, cock, cock. Dimmy, of course, loves cock. <laughs> as well as, almost as much as he loves knobs. <laughs> That's 
pretty good. That's a skeleton here on Jam Toe's team. Must have misclicked when getting that player. Unlucky. And setting him up as well. Diced. Yeah, it's not great, is it, two dicing him? Like, you don't really want to put the players to assist, but. He does get the two and then I can three and then Dan foul if he just keeps pushing him, it's not the end of the world. I don't like this. I think you want to protect your tackle pommer. I would have left him like here or here to assist the foul. Here probably. Here so you can scream and assist the foul. Was <laughs> decided between the Puma and Major Hard Meat. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did choose badly. <laughs> well, I don't like that one. I would have pushed him with the with the tack. I would have hit with a tackler because obviously he's got tackle. And then you could three D with a strength four, right? Well, I would have three D because I'd have had this guy here. I had this guy here, and I'd have two D, and then three D, and then two D, and then two D. And I've got the fucker down eventually. He's only got two assists at the moment. That's if he puts in the strength to assist, which kind of has to, right? With three, right? Oh no. Oh no. GFI to jam him in there. I mean, that's pretty decent putting him in there, to be fair. To be fair, this is a pretty nice GFI. Oh, loads. Yeah, okay, you have to GFI. Oh, loads, gem toast. <laughs> Don't not GFI. So this is, they would have a guard, right? You would have two assists if this was Blood Bowl 3, but it's only a one assist foul. It's not really worth making. But he's got three bribes. So it, it probably should, right? You probably should, even though it's only a one assist foul. It's probably correct to foul literally every single time you every chance you get that doesn't sacrifice position probably correct and yeah this is the problem with this guy right he's exposed he's just instantly 2 d by the strength four he could have been kaz there there's absolutely no reason to have that guy exposed is hancock scoring Because if he isn't scoring, that strength four is getting blasted. Yeah, he does score. <laughs> Hancock going balls to the wall. Balls to the walls. Wants to make up for the counter score. This is very interesting then, isn't it? Three turns for, K for Kalon. For the Kalon smashers. With three three turns and two rerolls, versus four turns and four rerolls for Jam Toast to score, and Jam Toast has it has the has the sure hands right, so it's not as if like he's just gonna get you know stripped easily or anything. This is uh, this is pretty spicy, pretty spicy. I mean, he's got to be thinking to turn them over and then, and then get back to 2-1 and he's had a proper drive. But, uh, like, you know, his team's really good, isn't it? His team is really good. He's got four blood steppers. He's got Rackle. He's got Adge 5 Strip. He's got Strength 4. He's got Diving Tackle. He's got Guard. There's only one Guard. No, two Guards for Jam Toast and one's the Ball Carrier. So he's kind of got one Guard. So it's, uh... You know, he's outguarded. He's supremely outblodged. <laughs> Thanks, Dwyer, yep. <laughs> I mean, once you say curry, that kind of covers the asshole part, doesn't it? <laughs> Flip me.
Yeah, he's got so much blood. About about as much as me, to be fair. Now he's probably got more blood than me. Now that I've had. <laughs> Don't know if I mentioned, but I had a few players die. <laughs> <laughs> My team isn't even good anymore. It's not. It's so. I'm so sad that my team went from the absolute juggernaut of the league, the best dark elf team I've ever seen, to not even good, and about to go out in the first round. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Yeah, I like to mention it. Make sure people know. Five rerolls can't even use them because it's Blood Bowl 2 and not Blood Bowl 3. Dice. I don't hate this like having him to react in case of a case of a blitz or pressure or whatever. But, you know, you need him to do some damage, so I'd have probably put him in the LOS pond and fouled. Well this is I guess a little bit safer. Though I hate the formation. Because, you know, if there was a blitz, this guy gets piled, this guy gets tagged by a shitter. Oh, well, or he could just first action pick up. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. So this guy gets blitzed. Or this one. Oh, shit, he dodges through. Greedy cock. The greed of cock. But yeah, this is just a this is just a gate dodge anyway. So yeah, you can just run a bunch of people, run down the sideline and run through as well. Wow. Okay. I mean, that was he did that instantly, didn't he? Did that instantly? Did Hancock? It's greedy though, because I would never have ever 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 made the first two plus through. No, I would have I would have blitzed this zombie, and then. Oh no, I guess not because the push is no good. So maybe blitz this zombie and then just run down the side. And get players in without dodging. I guess you could blitz him from the side here. You could blitz this guy from the side and push him back to there. Yeah. You could this you could blitz this guy from the side and push him back to there and then you can run everybody through. Like if he didn't power him. Which you know seventy five percent of the time he'd power. Oh man, blood step. This is the bad thing about having this guy back as the thing, right? Because now he, he can't block him off. If he was on the yellow S to hit, he could have actually blocked him off quite easily and freed him to run back and blitz. But now he's just gonna dodge off, pom. Needs an assist in, dodge off, pom him, and then run up and not have much of a cage. It's, uh, it's very, 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 very rough. Rough. As Kalon the turd would say. Oh, you draw the one. Oh man. That's really annoying, isn't it? Because he can't, he can't clear both. Because while he could chain him into him, then he would sidestep and he's got diving tackle. So you've still got to try and power this guy. And then had, you, you could run this guy around to assist. And then dodge someone back to cancel and then blitz. But you're fucked now. You're pretty much fucked. But this was bad. I mean, this was bad by Jam Tops, right? This was, this was just unequivocally bad to allow this heat. He had, he had five on the LOS, and then he had six guys standing around doing nothing, essentially. He could have had one, two, three, four like this, covering a breakthrough, and then another player over here covering the breakthrough. And he just had nothing covering the breakthrough. Oh yeah, scatter it, yeah. Yeah, hit the, hit the, hit the Roger and scatter, yeah. Yeah, that's what he's got to do, isn't he? We've still got to power him, though, so he's still fucking terrible, honestly. It's still fucking terrible. I guess you mummy block, then uh, zombie block, and then put him in there. Oh, he still needs another one. 
Fuck me. No, no. Pass. Two, yeah. Good, you got a power. You got a power. I mean, what you could have done was uh, pick a better team than Undead at the selector race phase. <laughs> That's the number one thing to have done, so that when it comes to the playoffs, you haven't got an Undead team. Um. But yeah, I mean, I think you've I think you've got to dodge the tackler off. So he's got a GFI with this guard in, which is fair, isn't it? That's pretty decent. Then he occupies the guy, gets you an assist. Or he could just be moving him back to cage. Oh, he GFIs. Oh God. And honestly, this play, right? This is the worst thing about it because if this was Blood Bowl three, you could still go for the tackle blitz, right? But now you've got not. Now that I mean, you have to use your reroll here, right? Because if you don't, you just lose. So you have to use your your reroll here. And then now you've got to switch to blitzing without tackle because you can't afford to fit. You can't do this one in three fail. But in Blood Bowl three, you can do a one in nine fail, can't you? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. He's one in thirty six. Well, <laughs> well, he's been a little bit diced, but boy, how did he leave himself open to it? And like, he knows that Kalon's going for it, right? Kalon. I mean, I keep calling him Kalon because of the fucking Kalon smashes being the team name. He knows that Hancock's going for it. No, it was two. It just, it just didn't, doesn't display correctly because, because there was a bit of like lag. It just showed you the the dice, the dice that he chose. Um, and this is the thing, like, you know what? Hancock scored in two because he's looking to try and turn you over. And then he's gone the, he's gone the, like, offset LOS and stuff. So you have to think, how do I stop him breaking through and pressure on my backfield? And he, he, he got some players back, but they just weren't doing anything. Like, this is the problem, like, on the surface of it, it's like, aha, well, I've covered things by having players back and my tackler. But you could easily tag the tackler or, or stun him. And, you know, the other guys aren't doing jack shit. Yep. Wrestles him for... Ah! Now, if he scores again here, Hancock... Um, Jam Tos might score in two, and Hancock will not turn him over. So, and the tackle pommer is stunned. So I imagine Hancock will try to get this a turn of stall out of this somehow, but how he does it doesn't look simple, does it, at all? Yeah, it's the, the, uh, the armor breaks have been pretty ridiculous this time. The problem is this, this school, isn't it? You've got to stand on the sideline to not get... He's got sidestep, so I guess he can just stand on the sideline. Yeah, he can just stand on the sideline. Problem is, if you stand on the sideline, then this blood stepper can just stand in front of you. And it's not so easy to score. So he might just score. Yeah. Yeah, the st stall was not... He was not... Academical. But I mean, obviously, look, undead shouldn't two turn, <laughs> should not two turn versus all of this blotch and block stuff. You know, this should be a relatively easy defense. The only problem he's going to have is exposing good players to like do, you know, chevrons or whatever. What you can do here is put your best players in these squares. Risky. Risky, but if you put your best players in these squares, right, then it then Jam Toast has to has to make the decision 
between blitzing your best player or trying to score at all. <laughs> so I quite like putting your best players here. Dep if it was the final. If it was the final, you put your best players there. But obviously he doesn't want his best players to die, so... It's, uh, it's not such an easy decision to make. Hello, chunts. But this one, like, I don't, I don't really like this guy here. Like, he is sidestep, so he's a harder blitz target. But again, if you if you put him here, he's just not a blitz target at all. And then that encourages him to go through this guy who hasn't got block. And then you'll have him ready to react as well. World's number one kick streamer. Uh, well, Blood Bowl kick streamer, shouldn't I? <laughs> I signed up to kick, but I never... Uh, I don't think I've gone back. <laughs> Blood Bowl 3 has zero viewers and 63 followers on kick. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> I know, I know, Chunter, but you're still, the, I mean, you're still, <laughs> you're still the number one <laughs> Blood Bowl kick streamer. <laughs> it says more about kick than you, Chunter. <laughs> It's sad, isn't it? No more Chunder, no more Elliot, no more Nick, no more Rick. And then Cyanide, or like, uh, or like Principal Skinner saying, "No, it's not. It's not the play. It's not me. It's the players that are wrong." <laughs> It's, it's sad for people who want to watch Blood Bowl, isn't it? It's, pr it's, it's probably good for them. <laughs> but it's sad for people who want to watch Blood Bowl. Uh, is this on purpose, Hancock? Is the gaping hole on purpose? <laughs> like, surely not. Surely not. It can't be on purpose. It literally can't be on purpose. There's no need for a trap, though, because he could have just moved one across and then there's no way to get through. <laughs> like, it could have just been impossible to get through, and instead, it's very possible to get through. It's like... doesn't make any sense. He's bamboozled me. What's the play here, then? The play here is not to have had two players back on a two-turn. Movement eight guy should have been up here. Number one thing is that. Number two thing is he should have geified to assist the blitz on the edge five. I guess no. You've got to blitz somebody, though, so it might as well be the edge five. One, two, three, GFI, four. You don't get to blitz anyone, there's a problem now. I guess the guard are one, two, three, four, so you could blitz him. And he's tackled, so that's okay, isn't it, to blitz him? And this is really hard, right? This is a really hard. 
A really hard two turner. Oh yeah, but it's you know you didn't used to though, did you, Chunna? That's the thing you didn't used to. And now, Blood Bowl three is not as good as Blood Bowl two, isn't it? Is, is, is essentially it. Cheeky pom, pom 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 pom. Maybe he doesn't pom. Diced. One, two, three, GFI. It's probably the best, right? One, two, three, GFI. Rather than GFI to there. It doesn't really matter, so I guess you just GFI once. It's still a sad state of affairs that all of the people who thought Blood Bowl 2 was good enough to stream or, you know, wanted to spend their time playing Blood Bowl 2 or whatever, now don't. Oh, we've got severe non-counting of squares from, <laughs> from Jam Toast. Bamboozled. <sighs> I mean, the mummy has to block. I guess he doesn't have to, right? Oh, wow. Okay. So you can three dice this ghoul. Ah, he's strength four. It's not too easy to three dice him, is it? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You need two guards. No, you can't three dice him. Well, you could have three diced him with this guy, but two dicing with tackle is better, isn't it? So you two dice him, and then he can't score. So there's no... Even though the ball is eminently hittable, it just doesn't matter. Because you have to rackle this guy here. Yeah. And he gets him. Does he? Does he get him? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. He does get him. He should have GFI'd last turn, right? In case he gets wrestled. Is what he should have done. Oh, wait. Is he a scoring threat? No. Oh, he is a scoring threat now. Oh no, he's sidestep. He's very unlikely to be a scoring threat. I guess it's technically possible. And of course, Hancock's got a bribe as well from the event. So we're definitely going to see a foul. Huge foul. Only a stun. Just a shitty stun. Perfect defense against the two turn. I mean, the two turns already lords, right? But then perfect defense as well, and not setting up the movement eight down the field was uh, pretty terrible. Um, this guy doesn't have sidestep, so what he could do is he could uh, 
fill that square and then he could run all the way around here with a million dodgers blitz this guy push him in like from here push him there into there move him one forward <laughs> <laughs> who's already got the ball and then he four plus two plus two plus scores it's it's honestly not that bad odds right the problem is getting around it'd have to be this guy one two three one two three four five six g5 one one two three four five six uh, one two three four five six no so you'd have to four four three two 1D uphill in fact <laughs> and he'd have to he'd have to 5 plus in to fill the gap I mean it's not very likely is it maybe there's something here or oh, maybe there's this way right maybe this way is, is more realistic to fill in these 4 you fill in these four squares, then you can blitz him. And then, uh, oh, then you need to fill in both of these, which is hard. <laughs> I think it's best to just gang foul something. <laughs> I think the odds tell us it's much better to just gang foul something. But maybe technically possible to get the touchdown. I'm glad that while I was bored and went AFK, it looks it looks like Champ Toast did the same. <laughs> 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 I haven't missed anything. And it's no assist foul, isn't it? I wonder if it's worth it. Maybe right with three rerolls. Three rerolls, three bribes. I guess it is, you wouldn't even need to use a bribe on that one, would it, Ricky? Big KO roll for the dirty player, stays out. And now the bribes look terrible again, don't they? I pretty much hate getting bribed, honestly. I just think they're shit. They basically... How they work is, if you dice your opponent, <laughs> they're pretty good. <laughs> and like, sometimes dicing your opponent is the only way you can possibly win. And you know, maybe this was one of those occasions, right? Looking at the teams, it's kind of what you think he's, you know, he's got to dice him here to win. But um, I generally don't like that and would rather, you know, take something and try to win by playing Blood Bowl. But that's not for everyone, is it? Some people play Underworld for Christ's sake. Do you know what? For dinner today, I had three poached eggs. Perfect ratio, thanks to Dimmy. I should have said while he was here. Perfect ratio. Three poached eggs, two slices of toast. Oh my god. And they were the best poached eggs I've ever cooked in my life. They were all three with perfection. Oh. Oh. I need it just in my pants.
this is a bit better. A bit better than last time. Still not as good as you'd like, but better. I should do an offensive setups guide, shouldn't I, honestly? It's amazing, like, you know, watching watching Arts Cup casts and obviously casting the cup myself, the, uh, the play-ins for five grand. It's amazing how often people, like, don't protect enough against a blitz and stuff. And I... It's obviously much more important in this situation versus a developed high elf team with five rerolls. This is um, this is very dangerous. Like you are on defense here as the uh, undead, even though you're starting with the ball. <laughs> you're also starting on defense and it's a deep kick as well and he's disconnected his team even more so I, I I am pretty much hating this play from uh, Jam Toast also he's got two guards right he's got two guards and he's got a strength 5 so the strength 5 blocks with the two guards and gets a 3D right? Done himself out of a 3D mighty blow hit here. Probably this pile is. You know, Hancock's shown you that he'll foul. So I think you just don't follow and then retreat and. A bit of a screen going on. This isn't too bad, actually. It's kind of alright, isn't it? I guess, what, one here, one here, one there. And you've got a bit of a screen going. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, so he wanted to get his foul in. He wanted to get his foul in. And he gets a Kaz. <laughs> So he gets ultimate payoff for it. But the problem is now this is weak, right? This is weak to the uh, to the elf push. So was it worth it? This is this is the thing. Even with even with the bribes, there's a positional cost, isn't there? That's the problem with bribes. Hello, Goliath. Fua. Fua. Just gonna knock down the mummy. And then what dodge through and, and smash the pommer as well. Uh what jam toast, yeah, can only go for a draw. Hancock's going for three one, isn't he? He's gonna dodge through here. Oh, re-roll, he's got five. Push is good enough, gets two more players through. If he wants it, he could pull back, like he's got the option, right? But I don't think he's going to once he's started. <laughs>
I guess this this thrower could tag. Double GFI tagging at the end. I just just want he just needed one. I don't know why I thought he had a tag from there. Yeah, I just needed one to tag him. But yeah, he is. He's not. He's not molested. So yeah, and he's all this is unmolested, so he can totally make a big cage here. But he's got players behind the back, hasn't he? So you know, he does mean he's got to protect the back of the uh, the back of the cage at least. It's going to make him harder to get a forward when he's got to protect the back as well. Didn't need to go quite that far to the right, did he? But uh, I don't like going this far, right? You want to stay as central as possible so you've got options. Unless he's not going to come with the whole team, which is also a mistake. So, yeah, he's not coming with the whole team. Oh, I don't like this. Do I not like this? Use your whole team to protect the ball. This is the best, right? Uh, so I guess what he wanted was he wanted to hit this guard, uh, and to do that he needed the guard for the assist, which means he had to put the mummy in there. Which meant that he thought he... Yeah, he just kind of goes sideline here. It's not terrible, right? He's got sidestep, so it's not going to go in the crowd. And he can cover the bottom side with that guy. It's not terrible, but it's inviting pressure again. To foul this guy plus one. Oh, and obviously the 2D should have done the 2D first, right? That's why you've moved this guy in to make this ball. I guess he's got he's got a, this is kind of safer in a way because he's got the bribes, isn't it? So this is like a 136. Yeah, he's got to eat it. Gets killed. <laughs> Maybe he shouldn't have made that 2D. <laughs> Fucking blood bowl. Fucking blood bowl, eh? The foul's fine, but the block removes himself. Four, eight players. Versus nine. Not ten. Three, six, nine, ten. Yeah, ten versus eight. But obviously the quality of Cox is much bigger. Way. Oh, Le Double ones. Finally, Cox corner cutting costs him. He's done quite a lot of corner cutting, to be fair. So he can't feel too bad. Or he can, because obviously people do feel bad about this all the time. But he shouldn't feel too bad about finally failing one. And oh my goodness, we've got a GFI into POM and then gang foul on either of these. Hoo hoo hoo! Flip me, guys. We've got this could this could surf as well. Yeah, this is live spork. This could, he could surf this guy, right? He could GFI blitz block block surf so he can surf this one if he rolls pushes and obviously if he powers him pile on and then foul this one so very spicy spicy yeah this is this was this was live you know they do go a bit longer like you know three minute turns they do go a bit longer but you know chalice was always three minutes wasn't it man chalice had some chalice had some tough ones <laughs> chalice had some tough games as well to be fair <laughs>
<laughs> but, uh... Yep. I actually don't like that move. I actually, like, I know it's save moves first, but I would rather have done the blitz first and then go this guy one, two, three, four, and base this guy and then gang foul him. But this is safer, you know, so, like, Art would prefer this because it's safer. But, uh... I would have preferred the higher payoff. Gets the pow. And might not even have to gang foul him. Got the AV break already. Definitely doesn't have to gang foul him. Ah! Gets cast. The apple's gone. Badly hurt. Wait, no, the apple isn't gone. What? Okay, the apple isn't gone. I thought the apple was gone. He uses the apple. Oh, they show them here now, don't they? I, I, there wasn't the icon, right? There wasn't the icon like that you get in Blood Bowl 3. So now he's got the guard that can foul this guy. Is he going to foul? He might not even foul him. He just looks like he's running forward. Taking the, th taking the space. I wouldn't have minded uh, a big gang foul. I mean, I'd, I would have definitely gang fouled this guy. A million percent. But, um, because you've got this guy as your cage corner, so you can have the ball here, and then two players here and a player here, right? So that's three, four, there's your cage. Those three are your cage and him, and then you've got another one there. So you've got three, three assist foul, and then this guy comes in and does the three assist foul, which, you know, could kill him. And if you kill him, that's really good as well, isn't it? Yep. Gets a pow, gets a pow on the catcher. Is this a dicing? Uh, it's not a dicing. No. No. He's just gonna want it. He's just gonna zero assist foul then. <laughs> Get a KO. Much better, much better than a three assist foul, isn't it? Just do nothing. Um, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure Hancock will feel aggrieved. Because, um, you know, there was the fireball of death that wrecked him. And then there was the loose setup from Jam Toast that allowed him to get the turnover. So, like... I'm sure Hancock will feel he's had the worst of the dice, but I don't think it's that bad it's a dicing. You'd expect him to remove a few people. He does have a jump up tackle upon there. He has got three bribes, he's fouling every single turn. And Hancock made a lot of like uh made a lot of double like, you know, made a lot of corner cutting GFIs. Uh, not GFI, corner cutting dodges. He made a lot of corner cutting dodges, so it's not too ridiculous that he uh, fails one. Like, it wasn't a crucial thing that he failed. Though it led to, though it led to his strength 4 getting cast, but you know what I mean. Like, it wasn't a... You know, a double 1 at the score or anything. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Should have done another GFI. Did he do two GFIs? How did he do another GFI there? That was lazy from Cock, wasn't it? That was lazy Cock. <laughs> That's what Dimmy's got, isn't it, I hear? <laughs> lazy Cock there. Oh, I hate this move. He could have gone three. He could have gone three. He could have tacked this guy off. What, what's he standing there for? Tag this guy. Yeah, because now he just blocks him off. He just blocks him off. If, if you're there, he can't block you off. That was huge to do an extra GFI. And I know he's got no reroll and he doesn't want to. But this almost does nothing, right? Like this, you might as well do nothing. Because eight times out of nine, it is nothing. <laughs> so, that's one of those things where... 
you rolling an extra one in six is totally worth it because now one in three, very good chance of using the reroll. Um, and you know, making this a lot harder. That was so bad, that him not going there, he had to go there. He's gonna blitz from the sideline. Ooh. Gets the pal. Oh, maybe he's gonna he's gonna use him for the cage. That's what it is. Okay. Okay. I mean, he could have used him for the cage anyway up here, but I guess that's what he's doing. He's using him for the cage. With like the cage corners being here and the ball in there. Nope. Nope. Just sideline cage. He's got sidestep, right? Got to pin him at the sideline. Love pinning him at the sideline here. Oh, what? Hate that. <laughs> It's such a small thing, right? But, like, if you put him here... And he pushes him away! Okay, we'll just KO him anyway. So if you, if you put him here... And then pow him to there and follow... Now, you've got tackle on him and he can only 3-2 out the back way, right? And he's got a 4-3-2 four, forward. And, obviously, going out the back way isn't doing anything. So that was... That was really, like, you know, this is a good... That's a good... That's a good example isn't it, for like blocking and stuff and con position control, because like, obviously you're just set, trying to set up the surface good as well, right? But like, that was like, it's just so much better. Like, I don't know why Jam Toast, maybe he just didn't think at all, he just thought I'd just punch this guy. But like, you know, you've got to think about, well you, well, you don't have to. You can think about where people are assisting from and where you're going to push them and everything. And if he assists from here, and he pushes and puts him there, even if he doesn't knock him over, it's just way, way like it's so much better being here. He can, he can get surfed. He's under like if you do, if you don't knock him over, he's under threat of getting getting surfed. So he's got to move with him, and it's a three plus two plus out the back way, rather than or a four three two through tackle. So I, that was a, a, a small thing, isn't it? That ended up not mattering because he KO'd him, and now he's in a better square because he's here instead of there. <laughs> so he actually ends up in a better square, but you know. Just gonna hit the pommer. He is armor seven, so hitting with every opportunity makes. He's not going. Is he going for the dodging? No, he's going for the hitting. Or we're fouling him because he's still got a bribe. I don't know. One second. Uh, it doesn't, does it? No. It doesn't seem like the strongest strat. He can surf the sidestepper, can't he? If he pals and doesn't remove. Oh no, he's already moved that go. He's already moved the money. Disregard. Because if you throw if you if you if you surf him then it's players aren't you're not investing to this, right? Oh, 
But I mean, yeah, I'd surf him. Fuck it. I would surf. I wouldn't care about leaving the 1D on. <laughs> he can blitz. He can blitz with a mummy. He can blitz and put the mummy in. Look, the mummy can go one, two, three, four, right? Yeah, surf him. There's still like a few turns left. So the mummy could blitz. Oh, he's got break tackle as well. The mummy's also got break tackle. <laughs> so. You could literally just, um, so you can just put this guy in here and then blitz him with a the mummy. There we go. Yeah, if he pushed the catcher to here, the mummy could have broke tackle, double geified. He could have gone in and he could have dodge surfed. But do dodge three dicing is pretty good here, isn't it? No, nope, not if he GFI. One's a GFI, it isn't. Gets the pow. And he's protecting the ball with guard. Of course, <laughs> by dodging the mummy, away, the mummy away, he's left this guy to come around and get guard in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Double GFI though. Yeah, it's sidestep, but three dicing with mummy's pretty good because, you know, first of all, it's three dice, you've got a good chance to power him. Oh, you can move the ball as well. You've got a good chance to power him, and you've, you put. You can foul him, right? You can just foul him here as the ball carrier. Um. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's that's not bad, is it? That's not bad. Yeah, you can't surf him, but three dicing him with Mighty Blow is pretty good. You could have surfed him. The, the way to surf him was to have powering the catcher to here and not removing, and then the mummy dodge double GFIing this guy, uh, and then blitzing with this guy. So he, he could have he could have filled all the squares and surfed him, but leaving the uphill on is fine here, I think. Now, the key point was to get the guard in amongst everything to make it uphill. But he has made it, like, he did play a little bit loose, did Jantos, but he got a surf out of playing a little bit loose. And now he can tighten it up, can't he, and shouldn't allow anything on. And should get a big gang foul on this bloodstepping tackle guy. Nearly a pitch clear. Diced. He's actually got to leave people back to stop him getting fouled. <laughs> oh, maybe. Interesting to see how you optimise getting a big foul here, because I think you really do want to foul him. Uh, well, well, that's a good question, Sturmflut. It's, uh, this looks a lot nicer than Blood Bowl 3, and is a lot easier to learn than Blood Bowl 3. Blood Bowl 3, which is the new one, um, looks worse and is harder to learn, but is current. It's, uh, I don't know. Easy to learn, but difficult to master, I guess, is what you'd say. Anybody can buy it and chuck some dice and have fun. And that's what it was meant for. And then it's just like, you know, big giant nerds have decided to uh, commit far too much of their spare time <laughs> into trying to get good at this game. <laughs> When really, just rolling, chucking some dice is, you know, it's good enough for most people anyway, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the most sensible recommendation from me. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. He does have to guard against the guard coming in, right? So I like that just little that little move helps quite a lot. And he can put it he can put his mummy over as well, in fact. <laughs> yes, do I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Chunter's first one to master, wasn't it, that he, he masturbated about? <laughs> Chunter was top of the ladder as well, wasn't he, for the qualifier, Chunter and Art, one and two. That would have been hard for anybody to uh, to out no life those two, wouldn't it, for that for that title. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were always going to work harder than Diomed. Um, you know, poor old Diomed didn't really have a chance against those two. I, I wonder if anybody would have done. Like, uh, Art nor lifed it more than you, didn't he, Chance? But then didn't have to get top. Like, you, you know, the first and second doesn't matter at all, right? You, you're just trying to get top two. But I think Art no lifed it even more than Chunter. <laughs> yeah, the randoms is so terrible. Right, so here we go. Yep, so there you go, stern float. There's, you know, the. So for this, you can find the rules to this game online. You can't fi legally find the rules to Blood Bowl 3 online. But there's my Discord and my YouTube and, you know, other people on Twitch and everything that you can, uh, you can, you can find everything out about it. I did no life the game he despises, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I need to do, like, that's the thing, I probably need to do, like, all of the new videos. And do you know what? It's very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. I've got some, I've got some graphics. I've got some graphics that I can use to make YouTube videos. So, I've been thinking about YouTube videos. What I didn't want to do is I didn't want to do the, like, proper series until the animation bug was fixed. And now the animation bug was fixed, I might, I mean, I'll try and do guides and runs and stuff. And I realise it's ten months late, but I do think the game is playable now with a auto clicker. <laughs> Blood Bowl three. Nothing wrong with Blood Bowl two. Stone Flood. Nothing wrong with Blood Bowl two. Blood Bowl two is a fine game. Blood Bowl three has a lot of problems that people deal with. <laughs> but it's the it's you know it's the new game, isn't it? So Blood Bowl two is basically dead. It's just some leagues like this. Still going. Like this league started 30 weeks ago. Which, to be fair, was already after Blood Bowl 3 was out, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like you do. Like just everything, right? Nobody's playing. Well, okay, some, some people are. But, you know, nobody's playing Dawn of War anymore, are they? Do you know what I mean? Like, pretty much. You know, no one's playing GTA 2 anymore. You know, you've, you, you know, at the end of the day, pretty much. Pretty much you've got to play the latest thing, ultimately. And especially with it like having the tabletop connection, right? Like, it was different when Blood Bowl 2 was the only game there was, and the fact it was using like 10 years out of date rules, well, 12 years out of date rules. But now that there is like, you know, that's in line with tabletop, I think that makes a difference. Yeah, I, I, I'm not a fan of the new rule set, but it's current, isn't it? And it just matters for a lot, like it just does. You know, not, not nothing's ever going to be relevant 
past its sell by date, if you like. <laughs> well, MC Crew, I'm, I'm going to make a video about it, funnily enough, but uh, you can, it's opautoclicker.com, I think, and basically you set it up so you press uh, a key and it clicks either continuously or a set amount of times at a set time interval. So I have it set up so that when I press the button on my mouse, it clicks six times with a tenth of a second interval. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully it doesn't last too long. Sometimes it lasts a little bit long, you know, because it's just over half a second. So then I can I can hover my mouse over a down player, click my mouse, like the button on my mouse button, and then it will click six times and stand him up. So I don't have to uh, I don't have to sit there clicking for like 30 seconds how I used to. <laughs> Because that's the most, that's the worst thing about the ball three, how insanely unresponsive the clicking is. It's so unbelievably terrible, and that gets that gets solved with the auto click here. Even though I've misclicked a couple, misclicked a couple of times because of it, misspoke as well. But um, even though I misclicked a few times because of it, it's really good. Yeah, gang foul, sneaky get DP. It's insane. It's. It's it's so it's so stupid. So we go overtime. You know, if Jam Toast wins the toss here, he's got half a chance. KO comes back. Two for cock. <laughs> and Hancock wins the toss. I'm not really cheering for Jam Toast here, but he is—he's the underdog, isn't he? So you know. Um, but now, Ancock has got what nine players, and four rerolls. So he's got just about enough to get it done here, hasn't he? Just about enough. <laughs> Div three, honestly, honestly, the lower divisions have done loads better. Division one has been a massacre. It's something like. They've won like three out of eight games or something, or three out of nine. I don't know. It's crazy. It's crazy how how poorly Division One has done. Oh, I've got, I've got a, I've got a thing now, haven't I? I've got a thing. <laughs> Let me show you my thing. <laughs> um. I've got my own Google Doc that I can edit. Yeah, it does. No, no it's fucked. It's, I can't do it. I've fucked it now. Yeah, it, was, it was okay. It was well meant. It was, <laughs> it was well meant by uh, Unforgiven, I guess, Aiden. Um, but one of the results was already filled in that I haven't covered. And I couldn't change it so it wasn't filled in anymore. So, I'm back to my ghetto spreadsheet because at least I can, at least I can do that. Oh my god, this is annoying. 
Sorry, it's going to have to go there for a second. <laughs> So it looks like he's going for a quick score again, isn't it? We've got chevrons for Jam Toast, exposing a very good player here. So maybe should have had him over there, so he's only exposing the Skellington. Got two good players on one... Th he's got three good players on one side, making it obvious which way for Hancock to attack. So maybe he should have had the strength four over this side. So, you know, either Hancock goes down the two tackle side or the strength four side, but he's obviously going to go down the zero tackle side. That's, yeah, but he definitely should have had a tackle on either side. kicks over here but the high kick means the catcher catches it not a problem oh, this has been really great <laughs> an hour and a half <laughs> an hour and a half of not playing blood ball <laughs> wonderful I don't know why these three have rings and the others don't. It's a bit of random... random cyanide programming for you. Oh, they're all back on. This is interesting, isn't it? I've got no idea what his pawns are. Is he just going to try the quick score? He's got to pass it to the uh, strength four if he wants it on the strength four. Got to pass it to him. And he could blitz and get some cover, but. So yeah, maybe he's just tap. Maybe he's just. Oh wow, okay. So he's gonna hand off to the Rackler, maybe. Looks like he's going for the quick score, though, doesn't it? Surprise! I would have dackered here. I would have dackered as. As the high elves got four rerolls, I don't think Jam Toast defended against the Daka very well. Like, obviously, he counter scored, but that's because he had the wizard. I think the defending of the Daka wasn't good. So, I would have definitely Dakered here. Oh, it's not a full half. Right, I've played too much Blood Bowl 3. He's just going for the quick score. <laughs> yep, sorry, sorry. Errata, errata. <laughs> errata, errata. <laughs> yeah, it's just first goal wins, isn't it? No, oh, so Hancock's won then, probably. How boring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. He could have gone there though as well. Maybe he's putting him further down, but yeah, he does all that. And this guy can 3 2 through as well. He's not. St oh, he's out of range of him. Oh, man. He, he had to go central, I guess, right? I don't know how he put both tackles on one side, though. That's really, really terrible. Really, really terrible from a uh, jam toast and. Nobody would have ever, nobody would have ever forgotten that it was a golden goal overtime. So, 
<laughs> yeah. Jimmy Fantastic shit at this game. Thanks, Dwyer. Or should I say tanks? <laughs> would he still would he still do injury though, Chumper? It would be something, but I don't it would only be a bit of a nerve. <laughs> yes, Jam Toast, correct. It's if he scores he wins. I was confused as well. Big Sam used to blood ball three over time. But Blood Bowl 2 overtime is first score wins. So, yep. Yep. It's pretty terrible it doesn't tell you anything in game, doesn't it? Maybe that's something that... Um, that they could put in, like, the PDF... or Not, not PDF, is it? The Google Sheets? Because there's the 40k overspend rule, isn't it? I don't know where that is. Like, no one reads rules, right? No one reads rules, really. It, it could be in... It could be in the rules of the league. But, like, um... There could be a little... A little thing, like, on the, uh... You know, with the playoffs. Like, with the sheet. That has... You know, who's qualified and everything. On that Google sheet. Could be a little page, like, going, remember... Or little thing saying, remember... Overtime's golden goal, and uh, the underdog can only overspend by 40. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, wow, here we go. Here we go. This is an insane amount of things. One, two, three, four, five. So four four plus dodges, and then a three plus dodge to hit the ball. Or maybe you can go out the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, 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 any. <laughs> so it's four 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 three for a two D with tackle and no recovery. <laughs> well, I guess it could go in the crowd. It could go in the crowd. Probably shouldn't have moved the strength four, right? Because the only way he wins this is if he does all the four four pluses and then it goes in the crowd. No oh, well. <laughs> Didn't make all the four pluses. Yeah, that sucks, that's a shit way to lose, uh John Toast. Do you know what you can do? Just fucking remove that chunter. Like, you don't have to fucking keep that idiotic rule of buffing guard, right? Like, better just to nerf guard back to where it was. You know, so, like, it's... Guard assisting fouls is stupid. I didn't even think it would be as powerful as it was, but it's insane, right? Like, I didn't think it was powerful because I'm used to not fouling with a bash team, right? Like, I'm used to not fouling with dwarves. But then, of course, once it once it's in, then you realise how insane it is because you're like, oh, well, this is just a gang foul at absolutely no cost of position. It's a five assist foul. Like it's insane. It's completely insane. It's ridiculously overpowered. And I feel like that was by accident, and they just doubled down on it. Pretty much all of the terrible rules decisions they doubled down on. Oh, there you go. The Kalon Smashers do it. Partially due to uh, overtime ignorance. 
for jam toast. He could have even won the toss and chosen the kick, couldn't he, if he thought it was a full half? I'm sure he didn't, but possible. Um, so, yeah, it is golden goal over time. So, oof, oof. Sad times for jam, po jam post. <laughs> Not jam post. Jam toast. Hancock gets through with the Kalon smashes. And he will be facing the winner of Elyod and King Boo. Um, right, bear with me. So there you go. <laughs> I wasn't screaming. I wasn't screaming um, at all, Jam Toast. But yeah, there were interesting things. There were interesting, you know, optimizations with um, assists and stuff and, and blocking and ordering and things like that. And then, like, also payoffs and stuff for, for bat worse ordering, right? Like, one of the things you did was, like, kind of better, right? Doing a safe move first, but then could have got something by not doing a safe move first. And, uh, yeah, yeah, the very bad covering, yeah, yeah, uh, really bad at covering the offset LOS. Um, not as bad as Bernie Buffon or World Sitar, and, you know, World Sitar's a great coach, right? And he, he really covered it terribly against uh, Olivier Dulac in the Cups, so, you know, it's uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> but, yeah, unfortunate with the overtime, wasn't it? Very unfortunate with the overtime, not knowing that you were about to just get two turned and lose. <laughs> but, um, there you go, anyway. Commiserations. Yeah, well played. And commiserations, Jam Toast. Congratulations. I keep wanting to say Kale on, but it's not. It's Hancock. And then here's the, here's the, here's the play-ins, the play-offs things. I can, I can zoom in a bit, right? I can zoom in a bit now because we're through with the round of 16. Here we go. Look, this is better. Now we cut out. We cut out the people <laughs> before the round of 16. And we've just got these. So yeah, so Hancock is playing the winner of Elliot and King Boo. Sporkbearer is playing Piebot. Um, Galenchi, no, Galabranth is playing Riot Killer or Papa Bow. So whatever happens, there'll be a Division 4 player in the semi-finals. I'm going to lose to Antonis, and PK is going to play Riley or Colnani. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.